She's the global face of Belarus's protest movement, a school teacher unexpectedly thrust into the limelight and taking on the mantle of leader after her husband, who was pursuing the presidency of her country, was thrown into jail. Svetlana Tikhanovskaya now lives in exile in Lithuania, but from there she's still managed to galvanize the protest movement and meet EU leaders as she tries to forge a way ahead for her country after August's disputed election. And it's what she's doing here at Globsec in Bratislava. Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, many thanks. Now, first of all, I would like to speak to you about the arrest warrant that's been placed on you by Russia. How did you react to that when you found out? It didn't change anything. It's the problem. We are striving for victory, and only after victory uh, I can go home. That's it. Svetlana, how does it make you feel, though, personally, when you have an adversary like Russia who wants to stop you in your efforts to bring democracy to your country? You know, the question is not in Russia. The question is in Belarus. We are talking about Belarus and we have to pay attention to Belarus, not to Russia. It's uh, our responsibility to solve this um, political crisis inside the Belarus. So you're not frightened when you have an arrest warrant on your head from Russia? No. <laughs> <laughs> we are a very brave woman. <laughs> so you have been meeting with a whole host of EU leaders here in Bratislava, but also Angela Merkel. You've been speaking to Emmanuel Macron. There's a lot of words, but what concrete, actionable commitments have they made to you? Now, all the leaders I have met with are extremely supportive to Belarusian people. They understand what we are fighting for, why we are doing this, and uh, what we want at the end of this fight. At the moment, I have to ask for mediation uh, in organization of um, negotiations with uh, our authorities. So uh, I'm asking if you can be such mediators. And uh, I think they will be helpful in this uh, question. You wanted Angela Merkel, the German Chancellor, to mediate. Has she said yes? Uh, she says that uh, she will do her best to help us in this question. And how? Uh, just to, to try to call for, uh, to, to see the best way out, to, because she's experienced politicians and she knows how to organize this better, if it is possible at all. Maybe while <clears throat> uh, they will be organizing this mediation, something else can happen and we will see another way out of the situation. So it's like a uh, messages to the to uh, the countries that we need this help, uh, but we will move on uh, inside country whenever you will be able to mediate or not. And this is an internal issue in Belarus, but Russia does need to be part of the solution. How are you going to bring Vladimir Putin on board? Uh, you know, we have to distinguish uh, Russian people and Kremlin. Mm -hmm. This uh, because we are friendly with Russian people. We have relatives there. We have friends there. And in the future, after new president comes uh, uh, to Belarus, uh, we, we we want to continue this relationship, trade relationships. We are neighbors for for forever. We want to even you know to to, to widen in this uh, relationship with Russia. But it's a pity that uh, uh, Kremlin supported regime, and uh, but we can't do anything with this. We are ready to talk uh, to Kremlin. We are eager to talk to them, and um, it's a pity we didn't couldn't find at the moment any context. Svetlana, you have shown pictures of the human rights abuses in your country. Hundreds of people are detained every week when there are the protests. Would you like to see President Lukashenko in front of the International Criminal Court to stand trial? It should be a subject for negotiations, because uh, if... Uh, but it will be something that will be subject to negotiation. For sure, because uh, it's easier to, you know, to, to let him go, not to... We don't have a feeling of revenge. We just want to build new country. 
to build a democratic country. And if it is the way out for him to go somewhere to, to, the, to the seaside and uh, spend uh, his time there, I think it could be done. Are you worried that the protest movement that has been going on week after week, bringing so many people out onto the streets, if there isn't change, if the international community doesn't support you in the way you would like it to and doesn't bring about that change, that the protest movement will die down? The protest movement will not die out. Mm, demonstrations may be uh, fade out because of weather or some other factors, uh, I don't know, but protests will not because our people will never be able to uh, come back to that state of slaves we lived, we used to live for 26 years. Everything has changed. We felt that we are united, that we are nation, and we are at last proud to be Belarusian people. So we uh, and Belarusian people are ready to fight uh, till the victory, and the authority has to understand this. So tell me, how do you explain what's happening to your children? They have lived through so much. Their father's in jail, their mum's travelling all of a sudden. They're little kids. I have kids. How, how do you explain this to them? Uh, for my younger daughter, she's only five, and she doesn't understand that her father's in jail. And, but it's, uh, the situation with her is worse because she misses uh, her daddy so much. And every evening she asks the same question. When my daddy will come, I miss him so much. And I have to explain that he's on business trip. Sorry, he, he will come very, very soon. And every evening the same story. My older son understands where his uh, dad is, but he doesn't ask uh, much questions uh, to me because he's adult enough to understand that it's uh, painful. So somehow we manage, you know. How do you deal with all the strain? You know, you, how do you deal with all of this? You have just gone through such massive change. You're suddenly a figure everybody recognizes in the world. How do you cope? Uh, we are women. We are strong. We are much stronger than people used to think about women. My people is my inspiration. It's what, what gives me strength to move forward. Svetlana Sikolovskaya, many thanks for talking to us.